Hello, hello everyone. My name is Becca and today I'm cleaning out my fridge for the first time since we've moved into this house. And let me just tell you, the previous owners left it disgusting. So this mess actually isn't ours. That's another reason that I've been dreading cleaning this because it's not our mess and to me that makes it grosser. I mean like there's hair that is not mine or my husband's hair that I do not want to touch. I mean, I'm sure that we've contributed to it somewhat in the last few months, but it was gross whenever we moved in and I was lazy and we brought some food over from the old house, so I needed a place to put it. But as you can see, the fridge and freezer desperately needed a good deep clean, so let's get to work. I start with the slide and shelf things on the inside of both doors, and obviously I have to take out all of the items before I can slide them out and clean them, so I do that. And throughout this process, you'll see me pick up old food that needs to be thrown away, and containers that have old food that needs to be cleaned, so we got all that sorted in this process too, thankfully. I'll also have a clip here coming up where I show you the butter packages and I just wanted to point out how stupid this was. The box is the opposite color from the wrapper around the butter. You'll, you'll see. See? Red, salted. Red wrapper, unsalted. Blue wrapper, salted. Blue box, unsalted. I don't know whose idea that was, but it's stupid. But maybe they're just trying their best. I don't know. I'm, okay. Anyways, I take all of the shelves out. And I don't really know what to do. I wish that I had like a handheld vacuum so I could vacuum up some of this bit. Yeah, this is me being disgusted and taking some deep breaths, convincing myself to go through with this. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I would normally, I think, try to start vacuuming up all of the different crumbs, but like I said, I didn't have the tools right now. So instead, I take my old Clorox wipe container that has no more wipes in it, but still has, you know, the, the cleaner at the bottom, and I am refusing to throw it away because that is cleaner that can be used. So I just pour that in, redneck style, and get scrubbing with a paper towel. Also use just some all-purpose cleaner. Um, really just whatever I'm feeling throughout this video, I, I try because I didn't really know how to navigate this, but I think that we did a pretty good job considering my lack of experience. So the first three slide and shelves are all cleaned. I did clean the inside of the door too. I just forgot to film it on this side, but you'll see it for the other side. And then I fill it back up with our condiments and milk and cream and stuff and do the same thing to the other side. It's gross. There's like a little fly and then like three little gnats. I don't know if a family of small winged creatures just moved in and then died in there or what, but um, yeah, I got to evict those. Yeah, see, cleaning the inside of the door and then putting the shelves back in. Also, this was a stupid fridge to even buy for this house because, which we didn't buy it, it was here whenever we moved in. It barely fits in this spot. If you see the back door behind us or behind me, it um, it's really a pain yeah, because I like to have the door open so I can have some natural light come in, but then we can't get into the fridge. And I assume that whoever lived here before was just like, I want the big fridge and uh, you know, made it happen, but definitely not the smartest move. Anyway, moving on to the inside drawers. I can't take them out because I can't open the fridge doors wide enough. So I have to just kind of like reach in as best I can. I am very short if you haven't been able to tell from my other videos, although I think that I look short anyway. I'm five foot tall and I do have a little step stool, but it's difficult for me to really get up in there. Yeah, so I cleaned out the inside drawers as best as I could. I tried to get them to come out, but it was not going to work. 
parts of the plastic in the drawers, there's two plastic pieces that sit on top of each other. You probably aren't gonna be able to know what I mean really, but basically there was food and crumbs that got in between the two pieces of plastic and I just couldn't get to them. Like there was nothing I could do and I couldn't figure out how to take the drawer apart either and I couldn't take it out of the fridge. So that sucks that it still looks a little bit dirty at those areas, but that's not actually touching anything and everywhere around it is clean. It just is kind of like irks me that I spent so much time doing this and it still looks a little dirty, you know, but whatever, it's okay. I took all of the shelves out and gave the entire inside a good scrub and then got started on cleaning these glass shelves. This really wasn't that bad I guess it's just it's just gross also it was such a pain to put them back in I actually stopped recording and had to get Jared to come help me because I could not could not get one of them back in and it took me like as much time as it took to scrub them to get them back in it's kind of ridiculous but I did set them up a little bit differently than they were in there originally and I think that it'll work better for me so I'm kind of excited about that I guess And let me tell you, at this point, it, this had been, it had been, I'm an hour in at this point, okay? Like, obviously a lot of stuff gets cut out in these videos. I speed things up quite a bit. Over an hour in, I had such a difficult time getting the shelves back in. I can't pull the drawers out. There's dirt that I can't even get to. And I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just not gonna even do the freezer. I'm not gonna do it. I can do it on a different day. But I stood back for a second and I thought, no, Becca, let's finish what we started. So. That's what I did. Went into the Disney Channel building and I sat down with the president of Disney Channel and I said, I want to make history. And that's what this is. Very uh, pissed offedly. <laughs> I did complete what I had set out to do. Also, this divider in the freezer is freaking drilled in, so I can't take it out. I guess I could, but I'm done using power tools on my kitchen appliances, okay? My word. <laughs> So we did as good as we could. There were there was some ice that I just picked up and threw in the sink and then scrubbed as best we could. And also, if you have a fridge that beeps whenever it's been open too long, you, yep, this is one of those fridges. So it beeped at me a lot and the lights went off a lot because it didn't like being open so long. This entire thing was a pain and I didn't want to do it. And it might have been even a little bit worse than I thought it would be. But I will say that the payoff is even greater than I thought it would be. It feels so good. It looks so good. And I like knowing that we are living in less of other people's grossness. So this is the final product. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry I was pessimistic through this. Clean your fridge. It'll feel great. But if you're moving out of your house and somebody else is moving into it, clean your dang house. This has been a journey. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.